What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today is the release day of Japanese Wash Wars ReZero Volume 3 and we are going to check out the prices, the market and check out the cards and see what it's all doing. As you can see, here is the big chase card of the set, the autograph rare, hand signed by Rem's voice actor. They definitely picked the right character this time, I think in the past with the older volumes, they try to focus a bit more on Amelia, but They've definitely understood the assignment on this one. We've got Rem, pen signed, serialized. We've got two digits. Obviously, this is the official Y Schwarz sort of post that came out yesterday to promote, to show off the card. They get this 00, zero so it's not actually the numbered one, um, but they get to use that as promotion. And I, I do wonder where these cards end up, where these, you know, promotional 00, zero serial cards end up. And it, it, if there is even multiple copies of them I, I i don't know but i think it's really interesting to think about and if we ever will see them surface i'm sure at some point we might but they might have to destroy them who knows really don't know on processes um but yeah agr right pen signed serialized two digits right so it's definitely not going into the hundreds we don't know yet how many though right until more gets opened pulled and hit and people start posting them online you can kind of gauge you know how far it might go up to you know if let's say seven serial card surface and none of them go over 20 then you know that does imply that it's on that lower end of the the scale right so we won't know that yet um obviously amazing that they're doing this also they're pretty much only doing this because of union arena this would not have happened I'm telling you now, this would not have happened if Union Arena wasn't doing what they're doing. And they pretty much did the same thing. They did this first. They did this a little while back, but it doesn't really matter because it means we now get cool stuff like this, right? So it's a positive, right? So ReZero Volume 3 came out today. I'm recording this literally day of release. This set has the 24 booster box set up so one case is 24 booster boxes now you can get a master case which is a, a big case of cases so that has three cases in right so three cases of 24 boxes um, makes up a master case and i think i've gone over some of these cards in the previous video but we've got the agr obviously we've just looked at we've got uh, sec plus secret rare plus we've got triple rare plus We've got SPs, they are signed, so all that goodness. Um, but yeah, pull rates. Two SPs per case of 24 boxes. From some information that has been shared on Facebook. Uh, we'll actually go to that now because it's, it's quite interesting. So this post is all about the ReZero prices. And we've got this uh, information here about a, a card shop in Japan. Opened 33 cases. So 11 big cases these were the hits um, so these are the secret rare pluses these are the triple rare pluses and they actually confirmed and I've gone off it now <laughs> yeah so they actually confirmed here that one big case so a master case which has three cases of 24 boxes in will have one <laughs> just one triple rare plus so you're looking at one triple rare plus in 72 booster boxes but you, you're not guaranteed a SEC plus. It's literally just a bonus. So <laughs> in one big case of three cases, you'll get a triple rare plus and you might get a, a secret rare plus. You might not. Um, and not, not only that, but uh, they didn't hit an AGR. So they opened 33 cases of 24 booster boxes. They did not hit an AGR and obviously they're serialized so it just you know it depends on how much is printed and also just purely depends on luck you know there's never there's never a pull rate unless they officially announced we printed this many cases and there's you know there's 20 serial cards then you could you could kind of work it out but obviously averages right some people are going to get lucky some won't i think they mentioned before that they have pulled an agr with opening less cases than that before so you know it's hit and miss that you're never you're never gonna know I, then they won't i can't imagine they would ever reveal how many cases how many boxes were printed for the set and things like that they're serialized 
if you get it from a case, a master case, several or a few boxes, <laughs> just just you're lucky either way, right? You're lucky either way. So those triple rare pluses, SEC pluses, pretty hard to get, right? Pretty hard to get. Um, let's just scroll down so you can see some of them. So obviously the the SEC pluses um, have signatures on them. They've got that kind of classic uh, SSP or SEC treatment with gold all around the borders on, on everything. You've even got these bits in gold and the signature. Um, Triple Rare Plus though, just they don't, they're not signed. So they're just an added rarity. Not really sure I get why you would bother doing that. Like you've got SPs that are signed, it's two per case. You've got triple rare pluses that aren't signed, but are harder, much harder to pull. They're one per three cases. I don't know, like, yeah, it is what it is. They're obviously, you know, unique artwork, so they're going to be hard to hit. But if you're after like a signed card, um, yeah, I don't know. It just, it seems strange to me to make a, a rarity higher, much harder to pull. Um, and there's no signatures. I mean, there's nothing stamped necessarily it's just a shining card frame i mean that's translation right so that could be it's just hard they're just hard to pull right so i guess if you really like the artwork then it's going to be hard and maybe a little bit more expensive um but let's look at the cards let's look at Ute and what they're pricing everything at so sps we've got amelia with 34,000 rem being the most expensive rem I just, oh my god i just said Amelia and said Rem instead of Yen. Today is not my day. <laughs> right, we've got Rem with 34,000 Yen. <laughs> there we go. Right, so she is at like 220 US dollars being the most expensive SP. You get two of these per case of 24. Um, they're signed though, so that's really, really awesome. And you know, it's just nice we're getting, um, I mean, a, another ReZero set. Right, especially while ReZero is airing. I always, always love the fact that if a set comes out and it's airing, it just works so much better. There's so much more interest, so much more hype, so much more excitement for the set if it's airing or literally just finished airing a new season. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy. I don't, honestly, I don't know why I haven't bought any of this. <laughs> I really regret not ordering just like, just one box, just one box to open. I know I probably wouldn't have hit anything, but I should have done it. I don't know why I didn't. I probably just forgot. And um, there's just been lots of sets and things to open lately. Um, maybe I can try and pick one up. But yeah, here we go. We've got the AGR on you today. They don't have it in stock, but they've got it priced at one. Well, basically 2 million yen. Let's be honest. It's 1.98 million yen. Right. So in US dollars, we are looking at 12,000 750 us dollars now they don't have it in stock can we really go by that there actually is a store in japan that has pulled one and they are putting out for sale at 1.5 million yen which is pretty much 10,000 us dollars now i think they mentioned they're putting it up for sale on a certain date so i've checked by i've checked makari i've checked yahoo auctions I've just tried to look for any other copies that may have been out there, may have been posted. But at the moment, as of recording this, there isn't any others. So at the moment, there's one available. It's 1.5 million yen. Um, you know, it is release day, so give it a few days, probably over the weekend as well. We'll probably start to see some more of these pop up and we, we might get more of an accurate price. We might get and actually see some sales data. We might see something actually get sold and see how much they go for. Generally, though, I feel like these types of cards, they go really high to start with when the hype and excitement's there. Pretty much the same as most card games. Once new sets come out, a few months pass, prices will generally come down. Now, it doesn't always happen, but I would say at least 90%, and that's being very conservative, at least 90% of the time, that's usually what happens. Um, obviously, this set is coming to English, and we do not know about any autograph rares i think we, we are still yet to have any japanese sets released in english that had those signed serialized autograph rares so you know that that 
whole dynamic, that would be really interesting to see. Will we get them in English? Because if we don't, then, you know, sealed product, like just the pen signs might come down. And then once we realize we don't get them in English, they might start to go back up. Um, equally, if they do come out in English, the pen, Japanese pen signed versions could continue to go down and the sealed product will, you know, do what it normally does. Um, but yeah, I think very interesting thing to look out for um, and something I will definitely keep an eye on. So we've got the SEC Pluses beyond a one, well, beyond a, a master case, so beyond three, case, three cases per hit. Like we don't even know what this really is. Um, it might be in there if you buy three cases, it might not. So some prices here with the most expensive being the REM card at 300,000 yen. But you do not have any in stock. So I don't know they haven't hit them or if they have and they've sold out. Um, it is release day. So yeah, we, we, we don't know on that one, but we do have yeah REM as the most expensive at basically like $2,000. But yeah, hard card to pull and where are you buying it from, right? Uh, it's not it's not available here. So yeah, it is release day though. So we do have to bear that in mind. Obviously the double rare and um, triple rare plus is far, far cheaper. We do have one of these in stock and actually the most expensive one. But as you can see, they are a fraction of the price. We're looking at well, we're pretty much looking at, well, this one is ridiculously cheap. Um, but yeah, we're looking at like 10% um, lower in some cases, right? So, so much more cheaper, um, but there's a bit of a price tag there just because they're going to be quite, quite hard to pull. Simple as that. Um, do people desire them? probably not as much as SPs, hence the, the prices. I mean, to be fair, some of these SPs are a lot cheaper. I mean, that is, for an SP, that is extremely cheap. Um, but, you know, the most expensive one, we got 34, we got 19. Um, compare that to the triple rares. They are more expensive, but it, that's what I'd expect. I wouldn't expect this REM, even though it's harder to pull, to be more expensive than the, the signed REM. It just... Just the artwork as well, I think. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the horizontal sort of triple red cards. They do look really nice. Um, but if you ever like put these in a binder, <laughs> it's kind of annoying that they're sideways. I can't lie. Um, but yeah, obviously they are just hard to pull. So the price is there. We got triple rares, um, just usual stuff, right? And, and all the SRs. But yeah, mainly just wanted to talk about the set and just look at what the price is there. I mean, some really cheap SPs for some characters that just obviously aren't anywhere near as popular. Um, and yeah, and a very expensive pen sign card, but this was always going to be, uh, where's it gone? This was always going to be such an expensive card, like when it came out. It's ReZero, it's Rem, it's signed by the voice actor. It's serialized. So, you know, it it's a given, but I think it'd be really interesting to see what they actually sell for. I'm really regretting not pre-ordering a box and uh, just being able to open a box. I know the odds of like hitting something from one box is, is you know, super low, but um, I think it would be a really fun set to get and just to open. Um, so I'll try and get some. If I don't, I apologize if there's no opening for ReZero Volume 3. Maybe when it comes to English, I have to pick up a box then. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Will we get pen signed cards in English when they come out? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.